Hey everybody, Will here, and thank you for joining me on this video of your SmartBoard MX75 version 3. Today we're going to be doing an in-depth look at the Whiteboard app. This is the built-in Whiteboard app and not smart notebook that you would find on your computer. So let's go ahead and open up our Whiteboard. We'll open up a new one here. Now that I have a new Whiteboard open, I can scroll over here and find different options. Let's go ahead, I want this graph paper. Say I'm going to be having students do graphs. So again, I would take pen here, I would want to select my colors, so I can go here, and then here I can select the type of pen being used, whether it's a chisel tip or more of a fine tip, or here I can select the width, and then of course my colors over here. So let's go ahead and go, woo, I have a line graph now. Look at that, not very straight, but that's okay. Uh, next, uh, let's say I want to add in a piece of media. To do that, put that down, I'm going to select this middle button here that looks like a picture. And here I can add content either from the web or something that's been loaded onto the board. So if, say for instance, that you had some photos or a video that you had on a flash drive, you could plug it into the board here and then you'd be able to access it from there. In this case, let's add web and I'm going to do a search for Husky here. Now I can do a search and I'm given with two options. I can either do images or videos. So say I want a video of a Husky and now I can scroll through and find a video of a Husky that I like. Let's just go ahead and go with Kiyush the stunt dog who doesn't love Kiyush. Here I can hit play. It'll actually go full screen for me. It loads it in. And you can see now it's playing on the board here. When I'm ready to stop, I'm going to hit pause there. And then let's go ahead and get out of here. Oops. By hitting the X button up here. It was hidden under this smart link. If for any reason there's an object that's missing, check underneath smart link just by tapping on it and moving it around. Put that back up in the corner. Now let's go ahead and add again some widgets. So I'm going to select my widget option here. I can add a protractor. And if I want to move that protractor, just tap it and move it. And when I'm ready to use a protractor, I just select it like that. If for any reason I want to undo something I've done, I have this undo button. I can do that. And then let's go ahead and get rid of my protractor. Just delete that widget off there. All right. Next we do have here a select tool. So if we had a lot of stuff written on here, we could select it. So let's make it look like there's a lot of stuff. Like that. We have a lot of stuff written on here and I want to delete it all at once. Select my select tool, drag a box around it, selects everything. And again, I could either move it, convert it to a text, which is cool. Or in this case, I want to delete it. Let's add a new page on here and let's take a look at some of our graphic organizers. There are built in graphic organizers into this whiteboard, whether it's brainstorming, cause and effect, go all the way down here and get a nice Venn diagram. Uh, or we can just set up regular columns and tables or a story map. So let's say that we are brainstorming with our children. We're in a literature class and we want to start doing some stuff, having them analyze. All, I'm not an English teacher. I'm so sorry. I should have my wife do this. Um, but here you could write in your main characters. So again, you can write everything on here. And it's done. Now, a great feature to these boards is if you would like to send it. So, for instance, if you have all of your students saved on Google Classroom and you would like to send them information that you found here, all you have to do is click this share button icon here. You can save it as a PDF. You can save a copy. So, in this case, let's do PDF. It'll ask me to save it. It's going to save it into downloads. And then what we'd be able to do is with a flash drive, plug it in, find it in our files, and then move it over to that flash drive. Over here, let's create a new page and let's check out a manipulative. There are some great manipulatives here. 
especially for math. So in this case, we're going to check out my coins, and then I could write something up here like um, make a dollar in coins on this side and show me what 75 cents and quarters is on this side. So we can grab those. Yay, look at that, all done. Uh, no, but so what's nice about this is you can do that. You can, again, write on the board as needed. So you could have them circle, all that fun stuff. Or again, if you want to delete everything, select it all and delete. You can also lock objects in place. So let's go here. So say I want to lock these three objects so they cannot be moved. What you had to do was select the object individually and then unlock it individually. Do keep that in mind. So again, select all now and I can delete them. Prevents them from being deleted. It's nice, prevents them from moving, especially if you have like an uh, example that you don't want kids to mess up on one side. If you haven't noticed, every time I click a new page, I do that by selecting this plus button here. And then of course I can go through and select my music notes if I wanted to. This was for a music class. Or if I wanna go back to a regular whiteboard, I have my regular whiteboard. Down here on this little icon, this has the number five because that's how many pages I have. If I click on that, it's going to show me all of my open pages in a group. And if I would like to toggle between them without individually selecting them up here, I can either use the up or down arrow. Let's go ahead and jump out of there and go back to a regular whiteboard. So down here, you might notice that you see this little thing pop up. So what you can do is actually move across the board. Uh, this is a huge space on the whiteboard itself. Again, you can zoom out so you're looking at the whole page, or you can zoom in to a really small portion and make this giant whiteboard your own. This is definitely useful in math class if you'd like to stay all on one board and continue your thoughts that way. All right. The other thing I need to show you, which is very important, last but not least, let's make it fun. All right, so here I have all of my writing, right? And I want to delete it, and I can't turn my pen over, and maybe I don't want to delete all of it. So what I can do is make a fist right here, and almost like you're hitting the board, it creates your eraser. And then you can just erase just a part of the line because you messed up a little bit. Or you got, you wrote over something that you didn't mean to and you're just needing to delete it. This is a great option instead of always having to delete everything that you create. Like that, because that was a different one. And you can touch it up that way. Now I have a nice clean board. When you're ready to leave your whiteboard, again, you can either click this back button up here, go back into that, or of course you can always click your home button. And then here, if you do have a smart account, which all of you should, because we're using the newest version, you can sign into your smart account and it'll actually auto-populate anything that you've done that you've saved to the cloud that way. It's actually a great way. It'll give you little tips and tricks if you wanna check that out. Here you can go through, see what's going on. Smart Learning Suite Online is now called Lumio. Just handy to know. So again, we'll back out of that, hit our home button, and now we're back to our home and we're ready to move on for the day. Thank you for watching this video tutorial looking at the Smart Whiteboard built-in app onto your board. And if you have any questions, please let me know by emailing me. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave your question in the comment section below. I always try and get back to you on that. And then if this video was helpful for you in any way, please hit that like button. And if you disliked it, hit that dislike button twice or any even number.